In this video, we're going to cover Python Windows functions, which allow you to create features based on previous observations in the data set. You can choose a time or quantity based window, and these features can be based on the whole data or grouped by a column. You can also apply whatever aggregates you want to create the features. Let's jump into a Colab notebook to go over the code. The data set we are looking at today is a receivables data set which I'm working with for a payment predictive project, using old invoice history to predict when fresh invoices will be paid. To do this we need many rolling features. I'm importing the data set along with Python and NumPy. The code is on GitHub if you want to follow along yourself and the link is below. Looking at the columns, I don't need all of these so I'm going to drop 7 columns. What I'm interested in here is the days late column, a date, an invoice amount for context and the country customer ID to group by. We can see from the describe function that the mean days late is 3.4 but most observations have a no days late and the max being 45 days late. From the value counts function we can see that there's 5 countries and 100 customers. Let's have a quick look at the first 5 rows of the data so we can see what we're looking with. Key to any windows function is making sure the data is in the right format and order. We will start by changing the invoice date to a date time and then have a quick look at the data. I'm going to sort first sort by date and then apply a rolling function. So with the rolling function, I'm taking a window with 30 days on the invoice date and then getting a mean of that over 30 days. And that's pretty straightforward. I can also do this for the last three invoices. So d of dot rolling, window equals three on invoice date, and then get a mean of the last three invoices. Let's take a look at the tail and the head of our data set because there's one key difference between these. So with both data sets, we can see that the global days last 30 has been calculated and the global days last three invoices have been calculated. On the tail data set, we can see that we've got a full complement of all the data points, but we can notice on the head data set that we have NANs in the global days last three. This is because the first two observations don't have three invoices to calculate their average. We can remedy this by using min periods, which we will do in the next function. Where things get a little more complicated is when we want to create window functions on a group. I will create the same two window functions for a single customer. For the first three invoices on a customer level, we are first group, then apply a rolling function using min periods here, reset the index, set index to level one, sort the index and return the days late. Critical here is the data is sorted by date. With the rolling date window function, we need to create a new data frame, then merge that back in. Similar to the last example, you are setting an index to invoice date, sorting the index, grouping by customer ID, applying that rolling function, then resetting the index and merging it back into the original data set. This is a bit complicated, so you can just copy this code for your use case, and the code is down below in GitHub. Let's take a quick look at what we're merging back in. So there's a customer ID invoice date, and then we're merging in this customer date, 30 days. Let's take a look at one customer to see what this looks like in the data set. So you can see now we've got four window function columns here, two global columns and two grouped by customer. And you can see that they're a little bit different. So that the last three invoices for the customer actually, because we've set the min periods to one, there's no NANs in here, whether there's NANs in the global data set. And since the first three invoices are within 30 days, you can see that they're displaying the same thing for the first three invoices. So that's days like 14, zero and 12. And this is coming out in both our customer columns. So very, very useful uh, functions here in Python for creating window functions based on past data. Really useful for my use case. I hope you found this video useful. Any questions, ask down below and follow Super Data World for more Python tips.